What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new episode of my No Money Spend series on MLB 20. Today, I've got a special, special video. I'm going to be showing you another way to get lots of XP to complete the second inning program, lots of stubs that you gain from doing this method, as well as the created player that you can max out. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you right now where I'm at in the second inning program. So I'm at level 15 right now. I haven't been playing a lot. I'm not going to lie. I've been really busy with stuff. Um, but I haven't played a lot and I still am at 177k and that's not because I've been doing any, you know, uh, player or anything like that. I haven't done the conquest. I haven't done the showdown. I haven't done any of the collections yet. I haven't done any of this. All I have done is just the method I'm about to show you. And it's, it's been going pretty, uh, viral recently. I, I've heard about it for a while. Haven't really attempted it since, uh, a couple days ago. That's when I first started doing it and then realized how effective it was. I mean, you can get a lot of these packs very quickly if you spend maybe an hour or two doing this method you can easily be able to um easily be able to get all the way to, to the diamond two bosses even all the way finishing this one you can get yourself an 89 85 to 89 diamond live series choice back so let me so without further ado let me get into this all right so the first thing you want to do you want to go to this section here the main menu when you load up after you're done pressing options or whatever button you have to press get into this section here then you want to go all the way up to the create tab and you want to go down to vaults all right guys so once you get to the vaults you'll press r1 on the logo and it'll take you to the roster vaults over here so then what you want to do is press square to search and then go there click on search and then you'll go to search by online id and then when you put in the find area you'll put just d and then j dj and then it'll be this one here djccx4 that's the one you want to download it has 42,942 as of right now date may 13th 9 24 uh pm so you want to go on that you want to go download i already have the roster saved for me so you'll save it you'll press r2 i'll resave it again just to show you if you guys don't know so this one's right here uh, you just want to save it override it if you already have if you don't have it already or this is the one this is the best one to download guys all right and then you want to go back here so you want to go to road to the show and uh, if you already have a road to the show you can just pr uh, press square start new and then set up my ball player you can set them up however you want mine's already started so i'm going to press circle there and then this is the crucial part guys you want to go to load save the rosters not use default not use current you want to go to load save rosters you'll click here and then you want to download the one that you just downloaded which is the roster vault uh roster there so you click on it it'll download there and then it'll take you to the screen where uh your agent's talking to you or, or your your coach or whatever and he's talking to you about the team and this is another crucial crucial uh point here so this is what when it asks you which uh what option you want to choose you want to choose any ball club that wants me or if you want a, a team that you want you always choose there's one team i've heard from more than a couple times that is crucial without that you it's almost a waste and okay so the first time i get it it's the tigers so the tigers is the team you want to get to so sometimes it gives you a different team maybe the yankees or the dodgers you always want to make sure you go to al and then the al central which is their division so that'll be their division the american league is their league they're in the central is what division they're in and every time you get there it'll give you the options once you click on the central it'll show you a bunch of teams that are in there you always choose the tigers that is the crucial crucial part of this and of course when i'm trying to show you guys how to do it i get chosen the tigers but anyways you nailed it it would be the dream plan tigers so you'll click on that right there all right guys so once you get to this part here this is also very crucial um it makes it a lot quicker if you aren't a pitcher and you just hit so what you do here is you go to do i have to and then from there, you'll be like, just for a few games. And then you go to here. Do they have a fielding position in mind for me? Now, for me, whenever I, I used to choose catcher for this, but I realized I would never get starting time and everything would keep going and going. And I'd have to simulate longer until I actually got a playing time. And then by the time I actually started to play consistently, all the overalls were higher and there are more higher overall players in the league. So then what I do here is I always go now for the infield, which is the shortstop position there. So I click shortstop. You should get starting minutes from the very beginning. And yeah, you'll just skip this one there. And then what you do is go to play. So go to play. The first game you always play will always be um, you'll be a starting pitcher for that game, which is unfortunate. But you just quickly simulate through that. I'll show you what to do here. So play game. I'm the pitcher here. I'm not even going to load up my pitching uh, load. Out. I don't need it. This is only for um, the hitting purposes. So I'm going to keep that one on there. 
So you just go through here, go through all this hole to skip, just, just get through this quick as you can. Press circle in these areas, it'll skip all through, it'll make it much quicker and much less uh, time consuming. So once you get to the game, press circle, just load in there, and then what I do is I go here and then simulate an exit. So you'll do that, simulate an exit, and you just press circle, everything's gone there. So you see my team's putting up runs, they're not putting up too many runs, we score 40, we win 40 to 3, you know, all good. But I wasn't part of that offense, so you won't get any hittings the first game, unless maybe by luck you're not the ace or the staff or whatever but anyways you'll go to click uh the play next game confirm advance will show you all the pitching stuff blah 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 and then you'll load out make sure you load out your hitting uh loadout if you don't have a hitting loadout and you have like a mix of the two or only a pitching one make sure you have a hitting loadout it'll make it so much easier your guy will hit more frequently and it'll be less time consuming as well so you click on that one right there wait to load in the game uh you'll go in there and then you'll be batting in the lineup and then once you get to your lineup you'll just see i'm batting three so play next appearance you'll click play next appearance and then what you do is the same thing options go here simulate an exit and then you'll see what happens here so i'll press circle here and so you score a number amount of runs and then by the end of the game you'll see the amount of hits you have so i'm three for five there all right three for five not the best not what i want but it's not bad i simulated that i took me like five seconds Okay, again here, I'll do that right there. So now go here, wait for the game to load up again. And then go here, all right, wait for my next batting. So I'm batting now, go to options, go to exit, go to simulate and exit, press circle again there. And then we keep scoring, 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 19 to four. Sometimes you'll get very high scoring games where you'll be like, in the hundreds and it'll keep going every inning you score 200 200 and then it'll go to negatives that's fine don't worry about that those will always be the best ones you'll get they'll be like you'll go for 128 128 which is perfect uh it, those are the best ones those are the ones you want it doesn't happen uh, all the time but it can happen a lot of the time so i'm going to do it one more game with you guys just to show you how easy it is and how quick it is um and then here you'll get to the screen make sure you don't spam x because if you spam x it would be i love it how you're a two-way player and you want to pitch just go down here just be just be slow with this part here i don't like it. i prefer to focus on position play and hitting only so this will allow you just to play the field and just hit you won't have to worry about pitching that was your last start of the whole season and click exactly here right there and then it should be all good for you all right guys so right now i'm uh the home team so i'm not uh in the play right now i'm not fielding but you can do this even if when you're fielding you can just press the options again simulate and exit you don't have to be the hitter when you do this just spam circle and look see i'm having one of those games where it's, it's a lot more high scoring which is really good we win 31 to 5 let's see what i finished with i finished two for six not the best but of course it's more than what you will get if you play it'll be less time consuming there's going to be a lot of games where you go a lot better than that two for six and two for five you'll get you'll go five for five or maybe 14 for 15 or something like that you'll go have those games but uh yeah that's how you do that it's super 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 easy all right guys so you see here so i've already finished everything here i finished all the way up to the diamond perk the one previously was um was the one for the the diamond the hawk which is the diamond uh, archetype their loadout that you will get the big main one there and then a bunch of these uh, equipment packs you want to get the best ones for these equipment packs there's certain ones that are the best ones um for diamond equipment you'll, you can see the attribute totals usually the one that's more expensive uh is the one that's the best one but don't always choose that one because you may already have something that's really high uh in rarity there or, or just get which one you believe will be the best for your player equipment there's you know the ones that have the most increase are the most expensive on the market so if you don't have them you can always buy them but they're not always you know worth it for most part all right guys so showed you my loadout so i got the hawk there this is probably the better loadout or the best loadout you can possibly get so it's the hawk and then i got a contact for i got power one i got fielding uh, five no six sorry and then I got power two. So these are all of them together. Make up good stats. They'll make you uh they'll make you have like the most balanced overall stats. Uh one won't be too overwhelming than the other. You can still field, you can have speed, you have a lot of power, you have a lot of contact. It's very good. So make sure for this one here. So when you want this archetype, you start off if you're in the bronze area, you want to start off with the spark plug. And then from that spark plug, you'll unlock the silver rarity. For this silver rarity, you want to go slugging spark plug once you unlock all these silver ones here and then from there you want to go to the hawk 
hawk for the gold and then of course when you're done the hawk gold you go to the diamond the hawk which you'll unlock there there won't be a choice that's the only one you'll be able to get but that's probably the best one i would go for you can go for any other one if you want any of these ones there if you prefer them or whatever but spark plug is the one i'd think would be the best option there spark plug again and then you go to slugging spark plug once you're silver the hawk when it's gold and then the hawk ends up unlocking in this diamond form there all right guys once you're done that once you're done grinding you'll get this player here once you apply all those stuff you'll see the stats here so i got 109 contact both sides 103 93 power respectively 111 vision 86 fielding 70 arm which i can improve through equipment all that stuff 81 speed 65 stealing so you'll get an amazing card my guys that switch here he's playing catcher for me uh you can play any position for him you can play any any single position you can even make him pitch if you really want and need to but yeah guys that's how you do that you get the player look at those stats for 65 overall that's got to be one of the best 65 overalls that's ever been seen a uh, very good stats all around but anyways guys i hope you guys can use this and, and use it to your advantage it might be patched soon i'm not too sure i know san diego studios is aware of it as they've been slowing down the vaults and all that stuff there but yeah make sure if you haven't done it already take advantage of it now a lot of people are taking advantage of it especially if you're not spending any money on the game this is the way where you can have someone in your team you know those chipper jones that people are unlocking through collections and the alfonso sorianos and all those cards there but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and comment if you have any questions about this or comment anything you feel uh you want about mv the show i can help you there i'll try my best to help you there anyways but thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one peace